An experiment in AI coding with Veet and Ader. Well, I have to say I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed with this result. How about make 100 circles with uh, random positions and colors All right, it's it's doing its thing. Oh man, it worked. It worked. That's incredible. I'll create a new directory and do the Vite quick start. I'll set up a React app without TypeScript just for simplicity. Run npm install. npm run dev. Okay, here we go. In a new terminal, I will run Ader. Ader needs a Git repository to work, so I created one. And I'm using a locally hosted LLM called Quinn. Here's what the thing looks like in VS Code. I'm just going to copy this path and say add this file to the Ader context. This stuff is passed as context to the LLM. Let's say make this really simple. And it's doing a diff. And it made a commit. It didn't really do what I wanted. Make this just return hello world with no counter. Okay, great. This is good, this is good. So I want to see if Ader can deal with D3 in a cool way. Make this return an SVG. No, I didn't get it. All right, I'll do a little manual work here. So now we have a ref that we can use to get access to this SVG element. Add a use effect that renders a circle in the SVG. Okay, well, I did it. Actually, that's pretty cool. It, I didn't use D3. I'll just say use D3. Aha, that looks way better. I'll just do a couple manual tweaks. And then I want to teach Ader about the convention with dot data null and join. So this should, in theory, Render a blue circle. Okay, I got to install D3. NPM install D3. And we get a circle. All right. This is huge. So the SVG is getting a default size. Let's fix that. Make the SVG use the size of the container. Let's see if it can do this. Okay, okay. It added another ref, which is weird. Oh, to uh, wrap it as a div. Actually, that's genius. And does that actually work? Gets the right height. Well, this is a problem I have a specific preferred solution for. Let me just modify this CSS. I'll change the body and the root. Actually, I'll put that in indexed at CSS. Okay, that worked. Our SVG is the right size now. So let's see, can I say like make the circle red? That worked. Make uh, five circles. See, it's streaming the LLM output and then it's doing this diff Oh man, that really worked. Make uh, the circles different colors. Wow, it really worked. How about make 100 circles with uh, random positions and colors All right, it's, it's doing its thing. 
Oh, man, it worked. It worked. That's incredible. Okay, I hereby declare this experiment a success. This is crazy. And then I asked it to use D3HCL color space. And it did it. Now vary the luminance as well. Okay, make the circles semi-transparent. Increase the max circle size. That worked. Add connecting lines between the circles. Okay, can barely see them. Make the lines have a thickness of 5 pixels. That worked. Add text labels with country names. And then I just copy paste this error, which says there's no file called countries, and it's generating one with a list of all the countries. Create a new file? Yes. See, and it worked. Ader can create new files. So cool. Now make the font serif and larger, sans serif and larger. That worked. Randomly vary the font size. Make the background black. That worked. All right, well, now make the font color white. Now, I'm, I'm using the slash drop command to drop the countries module from the context, just because it would consume a lot of tokens. And then I said, okay, add black stroke around the text elements, but use paint order stroke, which is a nice trick. That worked. Please make the max circle size larger and increase the text stroke to four pixels. Also, vary the luminance of the circles randomly. So I'm, I'm just sort of probing how many instructions can I give it at once? And I made a mistake uh, with a semicolon. Ideally, this part could be automated, where if it detects an error, it would feed that back into Ader, and I think we could set that up. Like a linter would catch this. It still didn't fix it. I'll just have to fix that one manually. All right, there it is. Well, I have to say, I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed with this result. I can just imagine taking client feedback on DataViz projects directly and just passing that straight into the uh, Ader LLM system and making changes so much faster, especially incremental changes. Let's take a quick peek at the code that this actually generated. It got the imports right. It measures the content rect sets the SVG width and height, style, background color black, and then it came up with this array dot from length 100 to create the data for the random circles. And then interestingly, it created a whole separate colors array, which is kind of weird, but I guess that's fine if it works. It just looks up the color from there, and then it adds connecting lines based on the distances between the circles. And then it uses the data join to render the lines. And then here's the text data. It maps over the circles data. Nice to come up with the text data, X and Y, and text index percent countries dot length. Wow, so it circles around. That's kind of weird. And random font size. 
But hey, basically, it does the trick. And it got the paint order stroke working correctly. And it left little comments about what it did when I requested changes. So overall, very impressive. Very impressive.